If smart app control spots a malicious or untrusted app, it will block it to help protect your device. Let me just start this video by saying that Microsoft is getting shittier by the day. It's like they want to push the users towards Linux, especially now that the Steam machine will be released. And you can see in my Linux versus Windows videos that if you are using an AMD card, you are already very close to the Windows performance. And the thing is that with Linux, the performance keeps getting better and better. But well, let me give you some perspective. And I'm making this video because this might be useful for you right now or maybe in the future. Yesterday I was testing the 5700X 3D, the Ryzen 7 5700X 3D in terms of CPU performance for the next video that I'm going to release against the 7500X 3D and some other CPUs in order to see which one is the best. And as I was trying to run Cyberpunk 2077 for the second round of tests, in this case we did the R4 3600, I just started the game and the game didn't launch. And I thought to myself, well, maybe that's a bug. I'll just reboot the computer and try again. And after rebooting the computer, I tried again and it didn't launch. And the thing is, I had run it a few hours ago and it was completely fine. Like it just ran, I did the benchmark, everything was completely fine. But this time when it didn't run, I saw a notification from Windows Defender saying that part of the application had been blocked. <laughs> and imagine what? Due to unknown DLLs. And I was like, what, what the, the hell? hell? So I came to the conclusion that Windows Defender was the culprit. But I was wrong. I even went to the registry and disabled Windows Defender in the registry, rebooted, launched Cyberpunk 2077 again, and it was a no-go. Just simply wouldn't launch. So to just relax a bit, I just went and sit on my new FlexiSpot chair that, by the way, is today's sponsor as well. And don't worry, because the story will continue. Today's sponsor is FlexiSpot, with the FlexiSpot C7 Morpher ergonomic chair. And this one brings lots of features and adjustments. I mean, even the unboxing experience was interesting, with the cardboard showing you how to use every single feature the chair brings. And it even brought two pairs of gloves for you to not get your hands dirty. How cool is that? You can adjust the seat's depth and height and the same exact thing applies for the backrest. It also lets you choose its height and depth, alongside the spinal support feature that allows the backrest to move with you. And of course, in case you don't like this feature, you can simply lock it and the backrest will stay still. The lumbar support is also dynamic, meaning that it moves with you and allows you to inflate or deflate the lumbar support depending on your taste and needs. The armrests can go up and down as usual and rotate separately, allowing the lower part to rotate up to 270 degrees and the armrests themselves can rotate 360. And if you want to move the chair around or just rest your feet, you have the feet support on each leg. And they're quite useful to be honest. And this chair also has four reclining states that can be used at will, depending if you're more or less tired or if you just want to watch some of your series in a more relaxed way. And the ice on the top of the cake is the feet rest that allows you to rest even better, especially on a more reclined position. Check out FlexiSpot C7 more for using the link below and treat your spine the right way. So continuing, with Windows Defender disabled on the registry, I just tried again and it was a no-go. So I, I, I was just like, well, damn it, I'll just try another game. And I went to try Hitman 3 and it just didn't launch. And since I was using Heroic Launcher, I thought to myself, maybe Windows had some update that doesn't really like Heroic Launcher anymore. I'll just try and install GOG. I installed GOG, I imported the files from Cyberpunk, I even reinstalled Cyberpunk 2077 from the scratch, launched the game, and it didn't launch. Same exact issue. And then I remember that the only thing separating this round of tests from the previous one was that classic Windows update that Windows did without my consent. And I noticed that because the taskbar is now different and I'm using the 25 off 2 in all my computers, but none of them have the taskbar yet. For example, if I show you the taskbar on this computer, it is just a normal taskbar and I'm still using the 25 off 2. But on that computer, I'll be showing you right now on the screen, the taskbar is now different and you have um, the applications and so on. Uh, they can be shown in groups and so on. So I noticed that something had been updated. So this time I tried running The Witcher 3. And this time, as soon as I ran The Witcher 3, I noticed that we had some notifications saying something about smart app control. 
So I just went like this and searched it on the taskbar. So smart app control and it was there smart app control and even though in this computer it didn't came installed by default on that one it was and i believe that in the next update the one that brings the new taskbar it will be enabled by default and that's exactly why i'm making this video and listen to what it says when it's enabled if smart app control spots a malicious or untrusted app it will block it to help protect your device what the hell is this crap? What the hell is this crap, Microsoft? I don't really need a smart app control. I'm smart enough to control my apps. I know what I install, I know what I don't install. And I know if I want to install it or if I don't want to install it. I mean, you should at least give the option to have it enabled or not. Not just enable it out of the blue and then say, well, it's all fine and dandy. Well, your application doesn't run. Your official game from the official game store launcher doesn't run. Well, maybe try to look at it in the Windows Store because that's exactly what, what it told me. Basically, if I want to see if Windows Store had it in order to buy it and install it. And I believe that they want to do something like, like Apple or some other computer companies that just want to have their applications from their store. And this is entirely bollocks. And again, I'm making this video because you might run into this problem uh, in a couple of weeks, in a year or two years. If you do, if you have this problem, just go smart app control off and it is completely fine. Because Windows was telling me that part of the application had been blocked for Cyberpunk 2077, for Hitman 3, for The Witcher 3, and it was this, this little crap smart app control that was blocking my DLLs from games that were released Years ago, Cyberpunk was released in 2020. The Witcher 3 was released way before that, like in 2015. So, I mean, the DLLs were already there and the smart app control uh, would, would have to know those DLLs instead of blocking them from an original game and original launcher. And, and I mean, it didn't. It just blocked it and called it a day. And I mean, I didn't enable it. Windows just updated automatically and enabled smart app control automatically. What a pile of garbage. Microsoft needs to stop this bullshit. And <laughs> I believe they won't. Not until Linux actually means anything to the general user. Uh, Linux, I believe it's on the, on the highest ever in terms of uh, market share. And I believe it's like 1.5%. And it will get even higher now that the Steam machine is going to be a thing. And Valve will will make m way more efforts uh, in terms of Proton, in terms of compatibility. So Linux will keep getting better and better. Thank you, Valve. And I believe it was Linus Torvalds that said once that Microsoft was more interested in, uh, in making a money machine that, that actually making a good operative system. So, <laughs> yeah. But well, this was just my little rant because Microsoft is getting worse by the day. If I didn't have to use applications to test or if I didn't have to test drivers and other things, I would be running Linux like 24 seven. But since I do, there's not much that I can do for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you're having this issue, remember, search smart app control off and you're good to go. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Microsoft or macro hard, micro crap, I don't know, call it whatever you want. Let me know what you think about them in the comment below and let me know if Windows is getting better or worse because for me, it is definitely getting worse. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Cheers.